So you can't just set a goal and start working hard. A donkey does that, <laughs> but a donkey is not a horse, That's right? That's right. Hey guys, welcome back. What's up? This is Basim. And this is Wakas. And we are doctors here helping you stay focused today. So today's video is going to be a quick guide on how to stay focused while you're studying for your board exams. This applies to step one, step two, step three, whatever board exams that you're taking at the time. Right. You can use this to kind of just remain focused at, at the task at hand, you know? Yeah, just some um, studying techniques. For example, when I was studying for boards, I studied for 50 minutes. I blocked out all distractions, turned off everything around me, like the phone or, you know, any kind of notification. I turned everything off and I just sat down at the table and focused for 50 minutes. I had a timer set for 50 minutes after that timer was over. I would stop studying, I would close my eyes, lay in bed for 10 minutes, and for five minutes go over all the material I just covered, and for the next other five minutes, I would just drift off and then I had a timer on for that 10 minute also and when that timer you know ended I would get up and start another timer for 50 minutes of study session and that's how I was able to study for around 8, 9, 10 hours a day when I was studying for the boards. Yeah so I didn't even know about that technique honestly <laughs> uh, but I kind of used it because I would never study for my board exams when I felt like I was tired. So there's a limit that a person reaches after they keep on studying continuously where you just kind of know yourself like I'm not retaining this material anymore and it's not making sense. Mm -hmm. These words are just all over the place and I don't know what this question's even saying. Right. So at that point, as soon as I started to feel that, it was like, okay, it's time to shut down totally mm -hmm. because there's no point to that to that studying session at that right, point because right, right. you're just so fatigued you're not going to retain anything. Right. So I'm like what is the point of me wasting my time? You know, time management. You need is a point. break. You definitely need a break when if you're studying for a long period like a month, yeah. you need like a couple of days off in the middle somewhere to get your, you know, focus back and go remember everything you learned because if you keep on going 3 months at a time, you're constantly going over the same material over and over again yeah. and you keep forgetting. And just get some rest, you know, rest is important. Sometimes we think the more work we put in, the better the outcome it's going to be. But that's not necessarily the case right. because sometimes when you put more work, you almost start declining. It's right. like if you're working in, I don't know, a factory, okay, you put in 50 hours cool, you get more money. But then you put in 60, 70 hours, you're breaking your back at that point and it becomes detrimental to yourself. So the next week you might not be able to work as many hours, right? Yeah. It's the same concept. You need at least like, I would say at least six hours of sleep. I slept like eight hours. I got eight hours of sleep. I had some exercise in the middle, you know, I would wake up early, have breakfast and, you know, start studying. And after I was done studying for like maybe six or seven hours, I would exercise and watch a little TV and go to sleep. And that's how I was able to do that for like a month before taking like a week off and you know, not doing anything for that week. And that taking that week off definitely helped me mm -hmm. remember everything that I learned, you know, that month that I was studying. And when I went back to studying, I was like more fresh, I remembered more material and I was able to get to the next step. You know, mm -hmm. I was scoring higher at that point. Yeah. And it's beneficial to also eat. <laughs> Make sure you don't yeah. forget to eat. Proper in diet. Yeah. yeah, proper diet. Eat healthy, not like fast food that would like after you eat, you yeah. would be like sleeping for like an hour, right? Yeah. You need to stay energized, something that's light and gives you energy, right? Exactly, and you don't want to overeat because you start feeling lethargic. Right. So one thing about my step one in particular, it wasn't really a strategy, it was at the time I was fasting because it was Ramadan and I'm a Muslim, right? I thought it was gonna hinder my knowledge, but what ended up happening was the fact that I was fasting for that period, I actually got weirdly a little bit more focused and then I would mm -hmm. see myself plateau out after maybe like eight hours of the fast, right? But I would utilize those first eight hours for studying and I wasn't bogged down with eating or anything. So that kind of helped me. But as soon as you know that you're ready to hit that plateau, 
you stop. And then right. I would stop, break my fast, eat a little bit, don't eat too heavy, relax a bit, and then get back into studying. And other times that, you know, you have been studying for so long and you get tired, you get tired of your surroundings, it's better to, you know, step out, take a walk, if you're tired of studying at your desk, you know, go out to the library. We both studied together. We went out to oh, a yeah, library, yeah. found like a quiet yeah. room and we studied together. So having a study partner for those times is very important. Oh yeah. And you definitely need to have a study partner that right. kind of knows how you study too. Right. Because you don't want to be also constantly interrupted and your studying flow is messed up. So. Mm -hmm. Find the right study partner to study with that's going to keep you awake and that's going to keep you motivated, right? right. Because in between, you, you're, while you're decompressing, you can even ask each other questions. Pinterest. And there's po positive motivation also. Like when I used to be like, I got the same score at, on the last assessment and this one. I know I remember like you were uh, positive motivation for oh, yeah. me. You were like, oh, keep going, you're doing well. And then if I had a question wrong, I didn't understand why, I would ask him. And because, you know, when you're studying so much, you get trapped into thinking very narrow. So it's good to have someone to provide a different perspective to a question. So it's good to study with other people. Yeah. And also set goals for yourself, right? So once you understand all of those things, like you have a good diet, your sleep is good, you know, you're taking the right amount of breaks. Once you understand those things, start setting goals for yourself. Yeah. How many questions, exactly. how much material you want to yeah. cover. So yep. all of that I would do when I was fasting for step one, I knew that I couldn't do more than three blocks when I'm fasting because that's going to make my mind go crazy. Right. Right. So I would only hit, hit three blocks. And once right. I hit those three blocks, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Right. Right. Or if I have a little bit more energy, maybe half another block. Who knows? Right. 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 But always hit that goal and whatever goal you set, make sure you do it every single day. Right. That's going to keep you motivated in the long run because you're going to accomplish things, check things off. Yeah. It's not just about working hard. It's working smart. Yeah. Also, you have to know yourself and know what your goal is and try to make a schedule to hit that goal. I, I've seen people just work really, really hard and they burn themselves out. They tire themselves out and, you know, the results aren't that good. And they're like, how come I didn't do that well? You know, you, you weren't disciplined. Mm -hmm. All you were doing was just kept pushing the wall. You didn't even see the door in the wall that you could just walk through. And did you put on any like music to help you during during your time to studying or anything uh, in the background? So yeah, because people so do that sometimes. Right? I had those uh, beta binaural beats okay. and like maybe some rainy mood sometimes or maybe classical music yeah. um, sometimes to help me keep focused. Sometimes I did not listen to the music. It was like very day to day. But most of the time I would recommend not having any music and just be focused in what you're doing. When you sit at that desk, just go right into um, studying because that will train your mind to, you know, whenever you sit at that desk, you start studying. Yeah. So you'll be like predisposed and you'll develop that discipline. For sure. Always have a dedicated space to study. Don't just like, hey, I'm just going to do it on the bed today. Yeah, no, <laughs> don't study in don't your do bed. That. That's how uh, you'll <laughs> fall asleep out. and wake up three hours later and be like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So always have that dedicated space. And I think you can stay focused no matter what yeah. is in front of you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't think you'll burn out. If you're not disciplined, you're going to get burned out. So it's all about discipline. You have to put conscious effort into accomplishing your goals. You can't just set a goal and start working hard. A donkey does that, <laughs> but a donkey is not a horse. That's right. right. But if you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment on the section below and like, and subscribe and hit that bell icon. Ding.